Okay, so back in September I made a short video called Two Freeware Programs for Making Simple 2D Animations. Going over two of the freeware programs I personally use to create animations. And uh, I didn't expect that people would re react to it so strongly, but it's been getting a fair amount of views and so I'm receiving a lot more questions than I anticipated. For that reason, I'm going to make a series of short videos to address all the various issues that everyone has been wondering about. So, issue number one. How do I download paint.net? Go to getpaint.net forward slash download dot html. Then, you scroll down to where it says version date, language, download. And there's this little disk icon here. You can click on that, or you can download it from the mirror. But uh, I'm just going to click on this icon one. And okay, now it takes you to another page. And you'll click here where it says free download now. Underneath that, it shows the version. As of the making of this video, it's at version 4.0.9. Depending on what browser you use, you'll get a little dialog box. If you use Chrome, it'll probably be a little bar at the bottom of your browser. And if you use Firefox, like me, you'll see this dialog box prompting you to, to save to a desired location. And if you use Internet Explorer, well, you're an idiot. Don't use Internet Explorer. Also, and please make note of this, I am using an ad blocker. Therefore, there are no ad downloads displayed for me to accidentally click on. In my animation tutorial video, I received a bunch of angry comments saying that uh, those people ended up with viruses on their computer. Well. If you listen to exactly what I say here, and you follow my instructions to the letter, you should not have any problems, because I assure you that paint.net is not a virus. Alright, so now, once the paint.net zip file is downloaded, you can click on your downloads bar, but since I already have this installed, uh, I'm just going to head over to my downloads folder. Okay. You're going to right click, open, and some of you may have to unzip depending on what browser you use, or version of Windows, or Mac. I'm unfamiliar with Mac, but there may be some discrepancy there. Be aware of it. And you may see this. Do you want to make changes to this computer? Click yes. That opens the installer dialog box. You can choose Express Install or Custom. You may want to click Custom just so you can see what options you have. License agreement. I agree. Click yes. If you already have a default photo editor, uh, you may want to uncheck some of these. If you are indifferent either way, then you can opt for Express. You don't have to click custom. and then click next again and that's going to install paint.net and after it finishes installing it should run automatically if it does not run automatically you can go into your menu and open it and voila you are ready to start using paint.net
Congrats. I hope this finally answers that question. And um, also, I hope it's helped anyone who, you know, just wanted to download Paint.net. You can't be too cautious with these things. Believe me, I understand. So, now you know exactly what to do. Exactly what I did. Nothing more, and nothing less. For anyone interested in the original video, please click here. And please stay tuned for the part 2 of this video where I will address your other concerns like how to use onion layers and some extra info regarding drawing animation frames. Peace.